So, um, this is what we're dealing with right now. This is kind of nuts. And there's people behind me too. I'm, I'm clearly dedicated and I really want a nice coffee right now. So we're about to sit through this. Hey everyone, I'm Emily and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we're gonna be waiting in the line at Starbucks during quarantine. But just kidding, this is actually going to be a get to know me video. Yes, I am currently in line at Starbucks. I'll explain that in a second. Um, I was already out shopping at the grocery store and I've really been craving a coffee, but Anyways, I thought it would be really fun to do kind of a get to know me video so that you guys could kind of know what my channel is going to be about. So it's just kind of a little introduction to me and the things that I love and what I plan to be doing. So yeah. Finally, now we're talking. <sighs> so much better. Venti iced coconut milk latte. This, this is the the bomb so yeah hey guys what's up we, we i finally got through that line thank goodness um i feel so much better long story short i was actually at the grocery store which is right next to it so i figured you know what i'm gonna treat myself i actually work delivering people's groceries and fortunately enough for me that's a job that's quite needed right now so I've been doing that a lot you know, I just got done with an order and I figured why the hell not yeah I'm gonna get into this video and just kind of tell you guys a little bit about me basically I'm in the Starbucks parking lot right now doing this video because my whole family is quarantined in my house uh, it's it's not the best noise situation it's a little yeah it's a little loud in there uh, I figured it would just be easier to go and drive somewhere and sit and film this video rather than trying to talk in my house and you hear all kinds of stuff in the background so as I mentioned a second ago I work for a company called ship delivering people's groceries so that's what I do as like a job but I mean I'm actually like a college student so I really don't have a job I just do that on my free time just to make a little extra cash whenever I need to I go to school for fashion which I absolutely love fashion marketing um, in Savannah Georgia and I'm home right now because of this whole virus business so that's what I'm doing here and yeah it's been crazy I haven't been home in a while little town life versus bigger city life I know Savannah is not like a huge city but it's like it's definitely bigger than where I am here and um, it's just it's been crazy it's been such a difference like coming back and just having all the weird vibes of everything that's going on in the world right now it's it's insane i have customers here who i'm working for and like delivering groceries to who are absolutely terrified to leave their homes and i mean for good reason too but you know it's just i'm glad that i'm there and that i can help out in these types of situations i have my hand sanitized yes there we go yeah it's, it's like a manly scent it says for men but you know what it smells really good and it does the job and considering every single store is out of hand sanitizer I will take it as I mentioned I'm back here I'm staying with my family right now which is honestly really nice I don't know if you guys can relate to this if you're in college or not and if you go to school out of state like really far from home I know personally Ohio and Georgia southern Georgia like very very far away and i know a lot of other people deal with that as well especially international students but isn't it nice to just kind of go home for a while i mean for me it is like i miss being home and i don't get to go home a whole lot so even though this whole situation is crazy and kind of throwing off everyone's schedule and everything especially with school college and all that I'm really grateful, first of all, that my school is doing online classes, so they're not just completely canceling my next like quarter altogether, but that I can actually be home and take classes and spend time with my family, which I don't normally get to do. Honestly, I feel like I'm having time to do things like this, to express like my passions and just do fun stuff that I want to do, and that's something that I haven't been able to do for a while. It's just crazy, though, too. Like, Coming home after, I mean, being used to being in a city that's very much has an entirely different mindset as far as, like, personal expression, I, sh I would say. Um, you know, it's the whole, like, small town mindset versus, like, city life. I go to art school. Yeah, I can wear anything 
I want every, any day I can wear whatever I want I can do my makeup however I want to I can do it as crazy as possible and I know that when I leave the house I will never be the most outrageous person that I see and here it's not that today we're looking a little more natural not quite so insane I mean I love it here it's nice like but I always knew like the small town vibe wasn't necessarily for me and I always wanted to go to a bigger city and wanted to travel so I mean I'm really grateful that I chose to go to school in Savannah so because I chose to kind of step outside my comfort zone and go to a whole new state to go to school I actually fortunately ended up meeting the love of my life who I'm engaged to. It's hard to see that, but and I'm so happy right now. We've been engaged. Well, we got engaged New Year's Eve, and Zach, I love you so much, and I miss you so much right now. He's actually, he's in the army. We met through mutual friends at a party, like, last year. It's our one-year anniversary is coming up in just a few days, and yeah, it was pretty much a case of, like, we just kind of knew almost instantaneously that we really liked each other and we've been together ever since. As I said, he's in the army and he's actually been deployed for about two months now, which is, is really hard. I, I don't know, maybe if you guys, if any one of you who's watching this video has gone through a situation like that or dealt with a loved one uh, being away from home for an extended period of time, being deployed, I was thinking about maybe making a video about that. I know it's a really difficult thing to deal with. I'm discovering that it is. Um, and it's only been two months for me. I know people deal with it for much, much longer and have to get through a, a much longer period of time with that. And not being able to see him every weekend like I'm used to is really like, uh, it's just, I've noticed I've been just a little sad. Like it's, it's just been more sad. I, I just, I can't wait to see him again, obviously, but I'm not exactly sure when he's coming home. If any of you guys deal with a similar situation or have family members who have gone through this and you've gone through it, then and you want me to make a video about that, kind of talking more about my feelings and whatnot, then I will totally do that. Yeah, so a little bit more about me. What have I been up to right now during this period in time? And you know what I've been doing is really just like I said before, just artsy, creative stuff, like fun DIY things, stuff that I'm passionate about. I'm actually going to be doing a video on um, kind of like repurposing clothes and turning them into new fashionable pieces, which I really love. Instead of going and buying a whole new wardrobe, I feel like taking pieces that you already have that you don't wear and turning them into something new that you will wear is a really great way to uh, save money save the planet you know be sustainable and it's just fun it gives you something to do it's it's like a craft you know i love crafts you guys will see that i'm probably going to do some videos like that and show you like what i like to do and how i transform my wardrobe without having to go out and like buy new stuff so that could be fun uh what else have i been doing during this quarantine um homework i was actually just working on a trend report last night and i was researching stuff on wgsn and was finding how like essentially fashion is going to become all about like the waist up from here on out while everyone's quarantined because people are going to be working from home so it's going to be like the whole youtuber uniform like wear a cute shirt and then just sweatpants you don't care about that's going to apply to like everyone everyone's going to be on webcam we can't hang out you know we can't like interact so I just thought that was crazy that that's like supposed to become a new fashion trend like really overstated jewelry and like statement tops and stuff like that this whole like you know webcam fashion it's kind of crazy okay and so then to like kind of finish off this video now that I've sort of introduced myself and told you guys about me and what I've been up to I thought I would do like a little this or that that everyone's been doing on Instagram lately just so you guys can get more of a sense of like what I like with little like mundane kind of things city or beach I, I think I'm gonna have to say cities yeah I'm gonna have to say cities I love I just love the vibe of the city I don't know what it is any city I go to I just like something about it just makes me so excited and I feel like it's such an adventurous like place to be and I'm all about that so yeah love that sweet or savory definitely sweet I have a horrible sweet tooth it's really bad my fiance knows this he cannot buy any ice cream or cookies and leave them at my house or they will be gone by the time he comes back I 
yeah I'm uncontrollable it's really bad <laughs> okay cats or dogs I, I'm a cat person adventure or comfort totally adventure books or movies definitely um I think books I really love reading I, I've always really loved reading I don't know what it is I just feel like it's like a little movie in my own head you know and like movies are great but books allow me to like imagine more for myself okay nights in or nights out <sighs> that's so hard too oh my god I love nights out because I feel like so much crazy fun stuff can happen and it's like such an adventure and it's like so fun but also nights in are like the best too because you can just chill with people you love and like you don't have to worry about like getting ready to like go out or like do anything I don't know that's hard I think I might say nights in just because I really love like just hanging out playing board games watching movies and like eating snacks with my favorite people so Right, summer or winter um you know what fall <laughs> tea or coffee um clearly we know the winner here early bird or night owl i'm i'm definitely probably more of a night owl not an extreme one um i wish i was an early bird i do but i'm not not yet we're gonna i'm, I'm gonna try to get better with that we'll see pizza or pasta I don't even want to answer that. That's so hard. Pizza. That was tough. Europe or Asia? Well, I've never been to Asia, so I would have to say Europe. Breakfast or dinner? Breakfast. I am a huge freaking breakfast, like, freak. I, lo I can't, like, I can't survive my day without breakfast. Okay, guys. Well, I think that's it. I kind of just, you know, gave you a little bit of an overview about me. Okay, so for this channel, what I really want to do is I kind of just want it to be a creative space. I'm just going to create cool stuff, make videos about it. There we go. I think my next video is going to be a DIY on repurposing clothes. And then I'm also going to do like an everyday makeup tutorial, kind of similar to like what I have on right now. Just what I've been doing lately when I want to just get ready in like 20 minutes. And we'll go from there. I have a ton of video ideas. If you guys have any ideas of things you want me to do, let me know. I really love anything fashion related. Like I said, that's my major. So that'll probably be the main focus of this channel. But yeah, thank you guys for coming on this little journey with me around Starbucks and for hanging out. And I look forward to doing a bunch of cool stuff with this channel. And be sure to like and subscribe. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye.